Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Yeah, it's time for another daily dose of Dismal Disney. We've got a lot of doses of uh, Dismal Disney news today because it seems like Disney is getting very desperate. I don't know. I don't know what Disney. They don't even know what Disney's doing anymore. I think. Like, let's find the stupidest thing we can do and do that. That's what Disney's doing. Yeah, so we've got a couple of stories here. We're going to talk about how they're buying TV ads to pitch its importance to Florida because of the DeSantis thing. They spent, uh, what? Oh, 40, 40 billion. They have a $40 billion impact on Florida, according to the company how much ordered they spent on those ads? study. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they say exactly how much uh, they spent on it. Millions and millions of dollars, I'm sure. So they're going to basically try to convince the state of Florida that they're super, super duper important you know, and try to sway them against the governor. Uh, then we have them getting back into NFTs and pin collecting. I wondered, I saw NFTs were trending for Disney and I was like, why the hell is Disney NFTs trending? And now it makes sense. Yeah, and people are like, people are like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Uh, everybody lost their shirts on NFTs. And now Disney's gonna be like, hey, let's let's do NFTs. Do you know who invested a lot of money in NFTs? Bob Iger. Yes, I would he like did. to know, is this connected somehow how the companies he invested in? Yeah. I don't yeah. know if it is. I'm just like I have to I have to wonder. Yeah, it might be. Um then they're starting over on Daredevil because they screwed it up so bad they gotta start at ground zero on yes. day zero. They, that's what they said. They just got a new office finally too. Yeah. And uh Dwayne Johnson's fast tracking uh Moana because they gotta get some money rolling in. Right. And oh and Lynn Manuel Miranda's doing music for it again because what? it's a running joke now that every Disney animated or anything that comes out or anything that has music in it sounds like it's Lynn Manuel Miranda, even if it isn't Lynn Manuel Miranda. Even if it doesn't fit like with the Little Mermaid, like it does not feel like the original music. No. Or like, you know, in the wish songs and stuff like that, they're like it's not necessarily him, but it's upbeat and everybody's like, Was well, it sounds like they're trying to be him again? And it's like, even when it doesn't make sense to do so, it's like just stop. Here's just stop. Just stop. Just stop. Disney. Just stop. So let's talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, you get a woohoo if you do. Woohoo. Uh, go out to shopclownfish.com. We're over goal Yay. for uh, Shadow Binders Volume 3 Thank hardcovers. You. Thank you very much. Uh, these will be shipping out next summer. Uh, we're still, well, Geeky mostly is very much trying to get the uh, previous book orders out as fast as we can. We had some logistics issues. We had uh, print delays. You know, welcome to the world in 2023 after the but pandemic. No one wants to do their job. Nobody wants to do their jobs and everything's 10 times harder than it's supposed to be. But uh, we're working on it, guys. But yeah, so these are coming next summer. Uh, thank you for the support. You can still, you got eight days yet. You can still back this. So I guess we'll, we'll talk about this first. Uh, so Disney did this, this study, a $40 billion impact on Florida. They said, according to a company ordered study. Yeah. So according to our people, try, with the source, trust me, bro, we do a $40 billion impact on, on the state of Florida. Yeah. So yeah, Disney released a study on Tuesday showing its economic impact on Florida. They account for 263,000 jobs, uh, according to the study conducted by Oxford Economics and commissioned by Disney. Uh -huh. Disney says it's important, says Disney. Uh, yeah, pretty much. So the time period in the study is before the takeover of Disney World by DeSantis and his um, uh, appointees. So I think they're trying to show like, hey, we were better off being Reedy Creek. Than but wait, wait, Reedy Creek, though, was supposed to be a, a separate entity that was a board that was, you know, in charge. And then Disney had to go through them. The problem was, was that Disney pretty much just ran Reedy Creek and they did whatever Disney wanted. And Disney was using it as its own personal, you know, taxing and everything else for their yeah. own projects, which was not what it was meant to be. Look, I don't necessarily agree. I don't necessarily agree with the Santa's just appointing people to the board. I don't think that was right either. However, I do agree with the idea that, you know, you shouldn't be, you know, serving on any, the any theme park currently, um, but I think having experience in theme parks would have been a good a good idea to have, but yeah. not currently. But it's like, you know, I'm sorry. I don't think Disney should get to run Reedy Creek either. They're, they're, what they're doing is because over in Anaheim, they have to go through Anaheim to do anything at Disneyland. And it makes it take forever, and they have to jump through hoops. Well, they don't want to do that. In Florida, they want to just do whatever the hell they want, which is yeah. pretty much nothing but meet and greets and projection shows. Yes. But they want to do whatever the hell they want. So they want a board that they run to approve everything they say that they're supposed to be approved like it was before. A sock puppet board. 
That's what they're mad about. Do I think that they have an impact in Florida financially? Yes. Do I think that means they should get to govern themselves and, be, and you know, have the privileges of a city? Hell no. Yeah. So now they're going to do a commercial uh, to try to convince the the state that uh, DeSantis isn't their friend, I guess. Um, oh, oh, wait. So Disney hasn't have money to do other things. Yeah. But they have money to do a commercial in Florida to get their own way. Oh, no, it's okay. They're going to get it in uh, NFTs. They're well, going to yes, make it up. Yes. They're going to make it up in NFTs. Yeah. So they're going to air a commercial on TV and online to promote its importance to Florida, the latest move in a battle with the governor and legislators that's gone on for more than a year. And, of course, this is going to be tied up in court probably for years. But uh, they're, yeah, they're trying to sway public opinion. Well, one thing they can do to sway public opinion is pay their own actual fair share in property taxes, but they keep suing every year so they don't have to. But yeah, fam, it's, you know, we bring a lot to the table, but you don't pay your fair share that would benefit everyone either. Oh, I'm sure this is going to have the, the warm fuzzies too. They said the new ad and economic study coincide with the 58th anniversary this week of company founder Walt Disney announcing he would build a theme park in Florida, an event attended by then Governor Hayden Burns. So probably be like, you know, Walt with the um, the Epcot plan, you know, we you know the, the video, you've probably seen the footage of him in front of the board with Epcot and the Florida project and all that. And it'll be like the warm fuzzies like, Walt believed in Florida. We love oh, Florida. Oh no, it's going to be no, nothing else would be here if we weren't here oh, pretty you know, much florida didn't exist or anything until disney was there you were just a dirty swamp yeah town. until we got there and then you know never mind that you know universal's bringing epic universe is probably going to be bigger impact than oh, disney yeah. but yeah. whatever you know i'm not trying to be like a bitch today but i'm just like so <laughs> sick and tired of people Disney's, like it when you're a bitch but i'm though. sick and tired of disney's bullshit so wait you had to lay off how many people yeah to save all kinds of money and yep. they had to get rid of them and get rid of their jobs to save money right and then your stock was in the gutter and everything else. But you have the money to go and do this ad campaign because you're still salty and pissed off that you lost your Reedy Creek that you were misusing to begin with. Am I? Do I have it pretty much summed up? I mean, I don't think the Santa appointing his own people to the board was actually the, the, the right thing either. But I think that Disney was misusing that for years. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And and so they're getting they're getting hammered. They're desperate on all Lead sides. Lead by example. Pay your fair share in property taxes and stop disputing it every year. Show people you mean it. So let's um let's look at some other ways that uh, Disney is going to try to kick up some money here. I thought this was interesting. Disney Pinnacle. So for those of you who are Disney fans and we were up until recently pretty big Disney fans and I've got probably thousands of Disney pins. Pin collecting is a He thing. does. He has a huge collection of pins. Love Disney pins, loved past tense, but uh, you know, they kind of pin collecting kind of fell off in the last couple of years. It seems like it's not as big mm -mm. as it used to be. It used to be mm. a very, very big part of going to Disney world. Well, that's okay guys. Cause, cause now you can uh, trade pins without actually owning any physical pins. Apparently because NFTs did oh so well. Yes. They're, they're going back to NFTs. I can't believe this. Uh, Disney pinnacle is preparing to be the next big NFT failure. I'm glad they're calling it out because, you know, again, I want to point out Iger himself invested a bunch of money in NFTs should know better. So NFTs aren't gone. Disney's going to launch an all new socially driven collectible experience again. Th th okay. Th so they can basically just print money at this point. They don't have to have any physical anything. Here's the thing. They just did this this thing on TikTok where they were doing Disney 100 quizzes. And if you answer the questions correctly, you got these collectible cards on TikTok. Okay. But yeah. you don't, I don't think you have to pay anything for that. So now they're going from that to, to socially driven collectibles because people were all trying to get the cards on TikTok when it was free. So is this going to cost money or is this going to be free? Uh, I'm sure it's going to cost money. Everything costs money. Uh, Disney and its partner Dapper Labs won't even say the word NFT. Dapper Labs calls itself the NFT company, right? Um, but between a variety of scams and the eye blister. Okay, so we didn't talk about that. The Bored Ape event. Mm -hmm. No, um, I didn't talk where, about that. Yeah, apparently a bunch of people went blind or had vision problems because they were using what, UV lights instead, instead of black, black lights. lights. They were using the UV lights. And yeah. I was like, oh my God. Yeah, so... They said the only thing that's available right now is a privacy policy. We don't even know what they are. Okay. So I think what it's going to be, and they're not really going into a lot of detail, but it's pinnacle. I think it's basically going to be digital pin trading. And they're like, that's what the kids are into now. The NFTs. Um, yeah. So like, this is not going to, this is not going to go well. Crypto kitties was the other thing they did. I guess it was a, a huge failure and this is the same company. And they did something with the NBA in 2020 and that was a huge company. 
And they said that um, the uh, the company that's doing these pins uh, peaked in February of 2021. What's the company called again? Uh, it is called Dapper Labs. Dapper Labs. Dapper Labs. So a press release announcing Disney Pinnacle didn't mention financial terms, but Disney's IP can't be cheap. The news was also revealed on the same day as the ESPN bet gambling operation with Penn Entertainment scheduled to pay Disney $1.5 billion. So yeah, it's going to, it's, look, you're not going to get free digital pins. You don't get free anything from Disney. No. It's, it's going to be expensive. So now the thing is, I don't know if um, they're going to pair them up with physical pins or you're just going to buy digital crap. I, I, I don't, I don't like that. Um, it just, I think it's stupid. I mean, I never understood NFTs. You don't actually own anything. Yeah, You're here. supposed to, but... Well, here, this is this is what it is. This is their, their official press release. They said, Pinnacle is going to bring together characters from 100 years of Disney along with beloved icons from Pixar, as well as heroes and villains from Star Wars. Oh, boy. Uniquely styled as collectible trading digital pins. The wait list... There's a wait list? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Got you for a minute. Hold on. Okay. Genie's Marketplace, next big project, uh, was going to team up with... Dapper Labs. They have partnered with Dapper Labs, the creators of NBA Top Shot for Crypto Kitties, etc. Guess what company Bob Iger invested a lot of money into? Genies. Or Genies. Or G-E-N-I-E-S. That was Bob Iger's company he invested all his money in, and they're partnered up with Dapper Labs. Oh. There you go. Told you. Okay, so Bob's just trying to get his money back. Wow. I found it. Here's a, here's, there's a thing here. I said this is on um, April 28th, 2021. They were teamed up with Dapper Labs. So they already have a history of being connected to Dapper Labs. I'm not, yeah, here again, Genie's on Flow. Flow Blockchain. Uh, Dapper Labs is underneath what connected to Genie's. Okay, so there you go, guys. Geeky did it again. It's, uh, yeah, so Bob I'm not Iger. sure if it still is, but it was at one point. So it's probably still the, still the case that they, are, they have connections together. They team up. Is that why he came back to try to get his you know, claw back his money? Be like, oh, I'll come back for a couple months. I'll green light this stupid thing and I'll get my money back Here. on my NFT. Here's from investment. 2022. Former Disney CEO Bob Iger joins Metaverse company Gene, Genies, Genies. And then they're talking about the, the possible rumor for Disney NFT acquisition rumors. <laughs> and in among this, Dapper Labs is mentioned. Okay. So there we go, guys. Uh, there we go. So yeah, they said it's an all new product designed from the ground up and you trade your trade your uh, pins in a digital environment. They said as fans collect and trade verified authentic digital collectibles in the pinnacle environment, they're instantly able to share their love for iconic characters across their networks. Uh, they can carry their new collectibles with them wherever they go with each collectible containing its own pin collectible trading journey. Fans are able to build their own unique collections anywhere from their phones. This so is, it's on your phone. It's on your it's, phone. There's nothing, there's nothing tangible. This it's is like, not. It's like, it's like DLC. It is DLC. Oh my God. This is going to be ridiculous. So then what's going to happen is like, they're going to integrate this. You watch, you want to talk about genie, watch them integrate this into the genie app too. And then like, you've got to start doing like digital pen trading or shit, you know, to, Oh my God, this is, this is like seriously desperate because they're, they're like two to three years late to the party for something like this. And everybody else has tried it. They've lost their shirts. I mean, board eight, that just like went up in flames. I'm like, come on. So we got that going on. And then Bob Iger is apparently uh, involved there. We got uh, daredevil. They're trying to salvage Marvel. So they basically just have to start the whole damn thing over again. It's so bad. That's what I said. Z day zero. They said they have to go through all of the footage that's already been shot. And then they're trying to read and watch all the content they can on daredevil to try to be inspired for new ideas. Or, or you could just call back people that worked on the original show and say, Hey, what would you have done if you had a season four? You know, you could do that, but mm -hmm. no, we, we, yeah. So that, I mean, this is where they're at. So they're desperately trying to salvage more, especially after, and this comes out today after the Marvel's bombs, you know, the box office are like, Oh guys, we're going to start over on Daredevil. Cause it's not good enough. You know, it's not good enough. And then, then they also announce, Oh, guess what guys? We're going to speed up the timeline for Moana, get some more money rolling in. Are they going to have digital pins with Moana and Daredevil? I bet they will. I, oh my God. They're, they're going to integrate it with Disney plus you watch. You watch, you watch this. Dis you give us some watch time on Disney Plus and you'll get a free digital pin. There you go. You can trade or whatever. That you can trade, but in you got to watch it. You got to leave it on the background. You got to watch Ahsoka. You have to watch so many hours to get each pin. 
I could totally see them doing, I could totally see them incentivizing people with digital crap to get them to, and people will do it too. I mean, freaking Disney Tsum Tsums, how long has that app been around? And I don't know. I'm still playing that You're one still though. playing it. You're but still I just playing like the it. game. It has nothing to do with Disney. But people collect the, you know, the Tsums and stuff. So yeah, I, people will totally do it. So yeah, they're, uh, you know, fast tracking Moana. The next movie he's going to be in is going to be. I don't think it's fast tracking, but it's his next film he's doing. Well, he does like 35 movies a month. I'm just like, I'm just like, so, okay, let me get, remind you again. Moana, when they announced they were doing the live action, those people were like, why? Because it literally came out seven years ago. Like at this point, it's ridiculous. At this point, why not just do the live action films instead of animated films? Or release them at the exact same day since you're going to do them anyway. Because they announced they're doing Frozen, which is like 10 years old. This one's only six or seven years, seven years old. And I'm like, Why? They, they should. That'd be funny. It's like, oh, Wish is coming out this fall, but then live action Wish is next fall. I'm just, I'm just yeah. <laughs> stupid. Gonna, and are, these which things kind are, of Wish do you the want? The live action remakes, everybody literally hates. Everybody's united on hating this shit. They keep the diminishing returns every time. Now, the Iger got on there and said, on the investor call, we're going to have fewer films. We're going to have lower budgets. But apparently, in among the fewer films, they're going to keep the live action, which means they're going to take out things that are new. They're going to keep the live action. They're going to keep the pushing the Marvel shit. And they're going to keep trying to shove Star Wars down your throat. But they're not going to do what else are they going to do. They're not cutting this stuff clearly. No. They need to cut this stuff and actually make things that are decent. But they're not going to. And then they'd be like, why do we keep losing money? I don't know. Yeah, they keep doing the opposite of what their customer base actually wants. Go to the movie. Yeah. You can get an exclusive pin. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's exactly what's going Oh, my God. I could see them doing, like, because they have the Hulu ads or, like, choose your experience. I could see them be like, do you want animated or live action? And, and you watch five and you get a pin. What? Yeah. Yeah, you watch five of them and you get a special pin. Just make sure you get that watch time. Oh, my God, guys. Disney Plus watch time has exploded. We don't know what happened. Just our fans are so awesome. People are going to be running that crap in the background, trying to get pins and selling them. And oh my God, this is just like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I'm still waiting for virtual Disney world where we're just going to, you know, shut Disney world down and you can just, you know, no, 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 use no, no. Oculus. You can still to, go to Disney world, but it's going to be for those who can afford it. And virtual Disney world, it will still be expensive, but more plebs. affordable for people who can't actually go. <laughs> the people that live in the stacks. <laughs> get to go to virtual like Disney. Player one. They get to go to virtual Disney world. And when you're world. in virtual Disney, you have to wait for all the commercials to run because they have to do that. You have the ad supported tier. And then you have like, like they joked, you know, we figured out you can put this many commercials before someone yes. has a seizure. You yes. Know, it's like that. It'll <laughs> be just like that. And you'll get a pin. That's you it. You're going to trade your virtual I, pins. I survived. and didn't get a fucking seizure pin. Oh my God. That'd be hilarious. And it's, it's like anxiety from inside out too. I didn't get a fucking seizure from anyway. So uh, yeah. It's the anxiety pin. But, but you only can get it if you identify as they, them. But so. it's, it's going to be, it's going to be way cleaner than the actual parks. You know, That's true. Well, I don't know. Do you can, you've one thing, then experience just, you know, take when you get tired of waiting in line, just go take a crap on your floor. Um, overstuff your trash cans, make sure it's ever flowing everywhere. Well, they have like achievements at Disney that they'll give you these pins for like, Oh, congratulations. You didn't shit on the floor. So we're going to give you a little poop emoji with mouse ears or something. <laughs> it's like, like, you, you did it. You I held mean, it in. Or no, you get it for doing that. Oh, you and, get it for then, doing that. and then um, congratulations, you know, you rode this or that or whatever else. Here's a pin. No, that's what They've they're going to do. They've done it before, though. They did it before. And then, uh, they had these things that you could get on when they had the old app that you could get, like, different things for going different and doing different stuff. That's what they're going to do. They're going to make it, like, fetch quite Because they have, they actually have, like, for Easter and stuff like that. And they have, you know, like, the go find the eggs or whatever at Easter. Yeah. And they have the figment thing, whatever. They'll just make it all virtual. It'll be, like, the Phineas and Ferb thing. And it'll be, like, go do fetch quests. Oh, they're cool. Olaf is having one for Christmas time, I think. Yeah, and I could see them being like, go do fetch quests for virtual pins so you're not clogging up the lines because we don't want you. In the so we're going to do crowd control. Oh, oh, look, guys, it's like a, a, a blue light special. You get a special pin if you get out of line from Rise of the Resistance because it's down and we don't want you on Twitter complaining about it being down. So we're going to send you on a fetch quest to go get some NFT or something. God, so stupid. It's so stupid. Wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so there we go, guys. Disney is pretty desperate. Uh, we'll see. We'll see where all this goes. You know, they're trying to fix their their PR uh, image, obviously. And um, I don't know if it's going to work. I think most people are looking at Disney like this company is fundamentally broken and greedy and stupid and lazy. Pretty much. <laughs> 
And they put a chick in it. They made her gay and they made it lame. That's right. You know, that's that's it. So we're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.